Starting off first with some breaking developments coming in from Afghanistan where 17 people have been killed in an explosion which took place in the Nangarhar province there. The governor's spokesman has said that the explosion was believed to have been a rocket in a Taliban vehicle that was accidentally detonated. He also added that the explosion happened when the Taliban and the locals were celebrating Eid. Casualties include Taliban and uh, civilians. Taliban members and civilians are losing their lives uh, in that explosion that has occurred in the Nangarhar province in Afghanistan. 17 people have been killed, according to the governor's spokesman. The explosion was uh, believed to have been a rocket in a Taliban vehicle, which was then accidentally detonated. We also know that this explosion took place uh, when uh, the Taliban leaders and the locals were celebrating Eid. Remember, this is uh, the end of the holy month of Ramzan. There have been uh, various uh, images uh, of uh, festivities that have been taking place and celebrations uh, between locals and Taliban leaders that have been taking place across Afghanistan. Zubair Babarkhel, a senior journalist from Kabul, is now joining us for more on this. Zubair, thanks very much for speaking with us here on We On. As per the initial information that has trickled in, this is an accidental explosion. If you can elaborate uh, on that for us. Yes, yes. Uh, today is the second day of Eid in Afghanistan, and it is a very different Eid this time. Uh, in the last 40 years, Afghans haven't seen such a day. Uh, in their lives, uh, and uh, uh, because there was a, there is a ceasefire announced by a Taliban and the Afghan government, and it is truly implemented. And uh, 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 and uh, but uh, in the last two days, uh, the Taliban showed up uh, in various cities in Afghanistan. They met the Afghan government soldiers. They met civilians, and uh, they even showed up in Kabul today, where the Interior Ministry went out on the street and met them. But unfortunately, in in eastern Afghanistan, in Ninkrahar province, which is in in the border, Pakistan, uh, over there, they, there was a big explosion um, uh, in a gathering where civil, a, lot, a, a big number of civilians has, had gathered uh, to meet the Taliban and the Afghan. Uh, uh, government of uh, uh, soldiers, and uh, uh, as far as I spoke with the spokesman of the uh, governor of Ningrahar province, he said 20 people are dead and 16 people are wounded, and he claimed that the ISIS Khorasan has uh, carried out this attack. Uh, Zubair, if I can also ask you where exactly in Nangarhar this uh, uh, explosion took place, uh, was this a crowded area given that uh, there uh, were celebrations underway on account of Eid? Yes, uh, this location is out of the Jalalabad city. Uh, it is on the road to Torham, which is the border gate of, with Pakistan. Uh, uh, this happened in Rodat district and there is a township uh, where we have a uh, cricket stadium too. So uh, some civilians said that all these people had gather, gathered in the in the stadium and uh, 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 the, there were many people because everyone is happy to meet the Taliban fighters and encourage them and uh, make them happy and uh, welcome them everywhere throughout the country. We are seeing uh, photos coming from every province that uh, uh, a large number of people had gatherings everywhere and probably in this gathering there also were a lot of people uh, because their eagers doubled and everyone wants to go to see the Taliban. Indeed, and before we let you go, Zubair, as you mentioned right at the outset, this is a very special Eid uh, for uh, those in Afghanistan. Of course, uh, double celebrations on account of Eid is also celebrating the ceasefire that was uh, called for. Um, we have been getting in heartwarming uh, images and visuals from across Afghanistan where Taliban leaders and locals are seen exchanging uh, hugs and greeting each other on account of the festival. Uh, elaborate for us what it's really like on the ground. All right, we've lost that line now with Zubair, but as he was mentioning, this explosion that has occurred in Nangarhar province in Afghanistan uh, has left uh, around 20 people killed. Uh, we are awaiting uh, the exact uh, breakup of those uh, casualties, which include Taliban leaders and uh, locals as well.
let's just tell you that this is also coming in uh, at a time when there have been celebrations taking place on account of Eid. So um, this is also a special occasion, uh, doubly special occasion uh, for the locals on ground in, Af in Afghanistan who have been celebrating with the Taliban leaders uh, throughout the day. And uh, this is also after the ceasefire that was called. Uh, so this has been a, a special Eid and uh, celebrations have been continuing. Unfortunately, this attack, this explosion, I beg your pardon, coming in from Nangarhar, where uh, we believe this was an accidental explosion, uh, when a rocket on a Taliban vehicle detonated by accident.